6 a.m. Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. Well, a pleasant good evening, friends, and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball. We are live here in Las Vegas. It's not Hunts Vegas, baby, it's Las Vegas. And it's Sam Houston men's basketball battling a very tough and capable California Baptist University Lancers team here this evening. It is the first round of the playoffs. The opening round was last night. California Baptist coming off of a victory versus UTRGV with some late minute heroics. But we are looking forward to this one. And friends, back on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network, got a very special guest. Some of you who have been following Sam Houston for many years know and remember the legend himself, Mr. Josh Criswell. He was across town. He decided to hop over here. He he said he's going to charge me 500 bucks, but he's here. Josh Criswell, good to have you, man. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, thanks for having me. I've been following the Bearcats as much as I can all season long through ESPN Plus and catching you guys whenever I get a chance. So looking forward to, uh, you know, taking this one in. And shout out to our guy Jason Barfield for hooking me up. Well, you know, man, you know when you bleed Bearcat orange, whenever you get a job and you go to an FBS school and you're up in Wyoming, but you still keep in touch with Sam Houston, I know you've been keeping up with the Bearcats a little bit. What has been most impressive for you this season? A, a lot of our guys have left, but they're still the returners who have been veterans on this team. And you got a guy like Savion Flagg, who has been a real leader alongside JV on May. What have you seen from this team, man? Yeah, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is I've really enjoyed watching Savion Flagg. You know, he's one of those guys that's a, a rare talent that you don't necessarily see that often at, at San Houston. I think the number four guy in Texas coming out of high school and you can see that on the court sometimes. Whenever he turns it on, he's tough to stop. Awesome. Well, Josh, what's been new in your world, man? You know, I know we're here to cover this game, but just wanted to uh, touch base with you. What's been happening with you, man? Oh, just, uh, you know, covering a lot of uh, Wyoming Cowboys football and basketball. You know, got them getting on underway, playing UNLV in the Mountain West tournament on Thursday. So, had a free night. You know, figured why not over and catch a game with the Cats. We'll go ahead. We're going to keep it right here for our country's national anthem, I believe. We've got a special person singing that. Then we'll take a break. We had a chance to catch up with head coach Jason Hooten. But for now, though, let's go down to the court. And here is our national anthem. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove, Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. 
Rob Pip here, pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten in Las Vegas, the start of the Western Athletic Conference tournament. Coach, real quick, we'll just quickly go back, uh, finishing up the regular season versus Tarleton in a victory. Good to get back into the winning ways. Just how proud have you been of your team this season, now moving on to postseason? Yeah, I mean, it was a good victory for us. I thought the way we ended the game by making some shots and getting a lot of confidence offensively, which is what we needed. Um, Because, you know, I've said it a lot this year, but when we're making shots and playing well offensively, we're a really good basketball team. This team is really guarded well this year. And, you know, I think statistically all of the defensive categories we've been we've been excellent in. So uh, really proud of what we've done. But, uh, you know, I know these guys got big goals as well as we do as a staff. And, you know, today's the first step in that direction. Playing here today versus California Baptist at Orleans Arena. It's a place that you played at in a tournament before, Coach, but going up against the California Baptist team that defeated them on the road once this season, and this team is coming off of a very good shooting performance versus UTRGV, where they won by a single point, 81-80. to 80. Some last-minute action there for California Baptist. They shot over 50% from the field and had a good night shooting threes as well. Coming into this game, just kind of the mindset and how do you contain their hot shooting coming off from last night? Well, they're a different team than what we played last time because obviously their best player didn't play. You know, he missed the first half of the conference season. I think he's only been back for about eight games now. So they're a different team with him in the lineup for sure. Um, And I think what it does with him in the lineup is it gives – them an opportunity to play more shooters at once and they're you know really dangerous with him out there because they can shoot the ball so well and they're playing good right now I mean they have a lot of confidence uh, you know they're making shots and you know it's going to be a tough defensive game for us and you know we're just going to have to do a great job in defending tonight. Now it's time for Coach Hooten's keys of the game presented by Emblem Properties Real Estate. Coach as always your keys to victory in this one tonight. We have to get back in transition you know I think that's a staple of any good defensive team but we, we've got to eliminate them getting easy baskets especially three point line and then we have to defend the three-point line they're making a lot of them right now and you know when they when they play their best they make nine or ten a game and and we've got to do a good job of getting you know getting that number down below six today Uh, and then I think the last thing is just rebounding you know that their place they out rebounded us even though we won the game I think they out rebounded us 40 to 33 and we gave them 15 offensive rebounds so we got to do a better job tonight in defending and obviously you know one shot and a rebound and and um, you know getting it out and going on the other end and the keys of the game brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one. Coach, finally, of course, here, the tournament getting underway, the first WAC tournament the Bearcats have played in. And, you know, it's a, it's, it's a fun atmosphere at times, but I know this team is very well disciplined. I was joking around with one of the other coaches because, man, I saw some other teams out late last night kind of walking around. I didn't see one single Bearcat. Just talk a little bit about the discipline, and this is all business while we're here, Coach. Yeah, I mean, we talked about, you know, Las Vegas is a really cool place if you've never been before. I think some of these guys, this is their first trip. But, you know, it's not about being in Las Vegas. It's about playing in the WAC tournament. We feel blessed and privileged to have that opportunity to do it. And you know, all we want to do today is come out and play our best. And in order to play your best, you got to prepare. And a part of your preparation is rest and focus and you know scouting report. And you know we watched film last night till about 9:30, and then got those guys in bed. Because also you know your two-hour difference. You know right now at home it's uh, you know what almost 7:30 at home right now. So you know it's different. Uh, you know we're we're going to have to come out tonight, and we have to understand that. And you know we're playing a team who you know 24 hours 24 hours ago those guys were playing a basketball game and so we, we got to come out tonight and we got to try to wear them down coach looking forward to this one tonight and also just your accessibility this season appreciate everything that you do not just for me but for the community and and for these kids at the university good luck tonight and eat them up cats thanks rob eat them up cats once again as head coach jason hooten we'll have more analysis looking into this one when we come back from van wagner this is the bearcat sports radio network Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Back at it, friends. Rob Pip here. We are live from Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the first round of the WAC Men's Basketball Tournament. Even though it is the second, really, they called the opening round last night the opening round. That was where UT Rio Grande Valley playing California Baptist, and California Baptist taking care of business in that contest, 81 to 80, as they scored a three-pointer with under a minute to go and held on to beat. Rio Grande Valley, the Vaqueros. Well, the Bearcats stepped on the gas in the closing minutes to put away Tarleton 69-50 to at Johnson Coliseum to close out the regular season. We talked a little bit about that with head coach Jason Hooten. Back on March the 3rd, Savion Flagg, the Texas A&M graduate transfer, led the way with 18 points and 11 rebounds in a double-double performance. Tristan E. Pay and Demarcus Lampley each had 11. Dante Powers and J.B. on May chipping in 10 points in that ball game. The Texans wouldn't go away. Every time it appeared the Cats were going to create some separation. Sam Houston opened up the second half in that contest on a 6-0 run, a three-point play by May and a three-pointer by Flagg to go up 35-24. to Jaden Ray, we call him Rocket Man for a reason. He had a layup, also a dunk by Sabian Flagg to eventually separate it 52 to 43. Sam Houston got that big boost it needed to close it out when Powers, Ray, Lampley, and Flagg hit four straight shots from behind the arc to end that ball game. Well, here in this one tonight against Sam Houston in the first round of the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament, the Bearcats under head coach Jason Hooten in his 12th year have made the tournament every single season and that is a great mark head coach Jason Newton marking the 20th straight season Sam Houston has qualified for a conference tournament including the previous 19 in the Southland that was the longest active streak in the league we'll go over our starters tonight starting with the visiting team as we talk about California Baptist entering this contest 18 and 14 7 and 11 in the Western Athletic Conference Wrapping up their season, and again with that opening round victory, they'll start with a six foot five freshman guard. It's Taryn Armstrong, averaging 11 points a game, followed by the six foot five senior forward Elijah Thomas, who averages six points a game in 19 minutes. They have a six foot five junior guard, and Trey Armstrong averages 12 points a game. He has played in all games, averages 19 minutes a game. Also, the six foot two junior guard. We'll keep an eye on him tonight. Their hot player who is playing here tonight. Of course, it's Ty Rowell, who has played and started in 32 games. He averages 12 points in 35 minutes, by far the longest man on the court. And last but certainly not least is Daniel Aiken, the six foot nine senior forward. And here is your Sam Houston Bearcats starting lineup for tonight. Around jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic. The jumper, the two shot, the yes, there it is. To Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down, though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. He's saying, I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot 10, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, number 13, I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three, I'm lighting up the market. So once again for your Bearcats, it's Savion Flag, Demarcus Lampley, JV on May, Tristan Epe, and Jaden Ray. That is your Bearcat starters. We've got a good crowd here at Orleans Arena on the site of the Orleans Hotel. We'll step aside and pause 10 seconds for station identification tip-off coming up from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. 
want to remind you this game tonight, possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than buy HEB. As I talked about earlier, California Baptist, the Lancers, they captured their first WAC tournament win over the ninth seed Vaqueros, advancing to the first round here tonight versus Sam Houston. It came down to the final play in that opening game of the 2022 Hercules Sires Western Athletic Conference basketball tournament last night as California Baptist took down the number nine seed, the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, in an 81-80 victory. Survive in advance, that's the name of the game, win or go home. A second chance three-pointer by Reed Nottage at the 44-second mark gave the Lancers an 81-77 lead over the Vaqueros. UTRGV tried to match it on a comeback in the final seconds. They even cut it to one after Xavier Johnson three, but the score would hold true as half court. He, by Vaqueros, fell off the mark, and that is how we have ended up here today. Also, we'll hear about the women's game, Sam Houston women's advancing after defeating Lamar right previously before this game. Carlos Zimmerman will have some of that at our halftime show, so make sure to stay tuned in as well. We're also going to hear from our good friend Kyle McDonald, who is the owner and operator of WAC Hoops Digest. Many of you that follow Sam Houston basketball know how important that resource is. Kyle's going to come on uh, hopefully at halftime or post game depending on his availability, and we'll talk about it. California Baptist tonight, they are in their black jerseys and the black pants, Lancers written across the left and right pant legs, in black outlined in white, CBU logo across the front in navy outlined in white, the names written across white in the back, the numbers in navy also outlined in white, the Adidas logo is on the front, the WAC logo is on the left front part of the chest. For your Bearcats, they are in their home white jerseys, white shorts, the triangles on either side in black and orange. Bearcat numbers in orange, outlined in black. Bearcats written across the front in that italicized font with the claw logo below that. On the back of the jerseys, it's the Sammy the Head logo. Below that, the numbers in orange, outlined in black. And we are moments away from getting started. Again, thank you very much for joining us for this first round of the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament right here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Savion Flagg averaging 19 points. He will square off here with Daniel Aiken right on the Hercules WAC Basketball Tournament logo. The tip controlled by CBU, and here we go. We're underway as the Lancers will have it moving from right to left, controlled in the backcourt by Armstrong, guarded by Jaden Ray, moving around the screen. Armstrong holding on to it. Here near that right wing, chest pass goes over to Ty Rowell. Around we go, back over to Armstrong on the left wing. JV on May working through the high screen. Pass goes back up top of the three to Aiken. Couple of right-handed dribbles here. He's got his pink shoes on, easy to spot him out there. It's stolen by Savion Flag. One-on-one to Thomas, skip, dip. This one partially blocked, batted around, and it goes right back to CBU. Trey Armstrong coming up with the rebound. That far with the pullback. Taryn Armstrong, the brother, has it on the far side. We'll call them Taryn and Trey since they have the last same last names. Of course, brothers on this team. Here's Rao, left wing three on its way, splashed it at the bottom of the net. Well, Ty Rao takes him, 41% three-point shooter. He came in here putting up 177 of them, 73 of them made on the season. It's an early advantage here. And I believe it was a three. They've got it officially marked as a two. 18.56 to go. Here's a Lampley straightaway three. Yes! Roll it in to Marcus Lampley, and we are tied at three apiece. So Lampley had the separation. Beautiful shot. Dropped it in. Lampley making his 210th three-pointer of the season. Again, 3-3, three, 18.41 three, to go. Just underway on that Miller time game clock. It is Trey Armstrong back here to the left side. Pass goes up high over Elijah Thomas, the senior, stands at six foot five. Pretty well matched up here. Both of these teams pretty evenly matched up. As CBU still has it here on the left side, down to four on the shot clock, stolen by Jaden Ray. Up front to flag, left wing three on the way. Bam, baby, raise the flag. It's Savion from downtown, and the Bearcats have a six to three advantage and a quick timeout called by the Lancers. We'll step aside, we'll take it for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Back-to-back -back threes by Sam Houston has given them an early advantage here in the first round of the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament at Orleans Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Bearcats lead 6-3, to 18-14 remaining on the Miller Time game clock here in the first half. Sam Houston coming into this contest averaging just 69.1 points a game going up against the CBU team at almost 72 a game. Sam Houston has also cooled off from the field at 42.5% compared to 44% for California Baptist. Bearcats still slightly holding on to that rebound advantage, 37.8 to 37.7. We'll get back into action here as the Lancers have it as they will move here from right to left on the far side into the hands of Taryn Armstrong. Armstrong still working his dribble, floats one over to Thomas, back at the top of the three. A little hop step and a jump back over to Trey, oh, Trey Armstrong. This shot is no good. And a rebound here by Tristan E. Pay. Here comes Jaden Ray. Ray flips it back over to Flag near the right wing. Chest pass goes to Ray. Ray looks up, waiting on his offense to set up. As Tristan Ipe standing at the top of the three. Chest pass goes over to Javion May, back to Ipe. Ipe fires this one over to Ray. Ray from the left elbow gets it knocked from behind, and it goes out of bounds. It will remain with Sam Houston with 11 on the shot clock. Again, Bearcats leading 6-3, to 17-36 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the opening frame. As Jaden Ray will inbound from the left baseline over to Savion Flag, a hand in his face. It doesn't matter. Raise that flag, baby. It's another one from downtown, and the Bearcats, all of their baskets, the field goals have been threes, leading 9 to 3, 17 20 to go here in the first half. Back over to Taryn Armstrong here on the left side for the Lancers. Right handed pass, sings it over to Trey Armstrong. They're near that right. Now a chest pass around we go back over to Taryn. Taryn from the left elbow. Getting trapped, I think he traveled, he did. And it's turned over. JV on May brought his big Bearcat claws in his face and forced the travel. JV on inbounding just in front of me. I'm here at the opposite from the scores table on the left side. As Jaden Ray gets the inbound from JV on May, Ray will move from left to right, crossing the timeline. Couple of dribbles, crosses over to his left hand to the left wing. High screen, Savion flag looking for the roll. Left corner three on its way. It's good. Boy, the Bearcats are hot from downtown. They're leading 12 to three to open this contest. 6.45 to go here in the first half. Sam Houston cannot be denied yet from downtown. They have simply been on fire. A perfect four for four so far here to start. Ball back over to Taryn Armstrong. Armstrong launches this one over to his brother Trey. Trey from the right baseline trap, turned it over. Here comes Jaden Ray, three on one to Lampley. Lampley left side, it's blocked. Boy, good play there. I believe it was Taryn getting up, getting the block. And here comes the Lancers, quickly back. No look pass to Aiken, it's blocked from Javion May. Oh baby, what a play. Here comes Sam Houston, it's Jaden Ray. Savion flag, thought about it, goes down to Ipe. Ipe left side, no good. Rebound, we got a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Bearcats. Sam Houston bringing the defense from behind. Shooting four of six from the floor. All four baskets have been three-pointers, leading 12 to three. 16.05 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. Clock shot. Shot clock will reset to 20 as Jaden Ray inbounding here on his own baseline as I see it to the left of the rim. Ray launches it over Savion Flag near the left wing. High screen Ipe. Flag waiting on, finding separation, takes a jumper. Too strong off the right side. Ipe fighting for the rebound, can't hold on to it. It goes over to Trey Armstrong. Armstrong using his left hand to direct traffic on that far side from right to left. As he'll go down to Reed Nottage on the left wing, guarded by Flag. Nottage picked up his dribble, throws this one from his hip, up top, back over to Aiken. Aiken, a couple of right-handed dribbles, drops this one back over to Ty Rao, launches a shot, no good. Rebound, clawed out of the air by Savion Flag. 12 to three, 15, 30 to go here in the first half. Jaden Ray will waltz his way into the front court. 
as Savion Flag holds up his right hand, directing traffic with his left, as he tells Javion May to set up the high screen. The pass goes over to Flag. Flag launches one over his hand to Ipe. Ipe on the left baseline, driving in, and offensive foul charge on Tristan Ipe. So Ipe will pick up his first personal. That's the first team foul for Sam Houston. And that will take us to our first media timeout. 15-13 remaining on the Miller time game clock. The Bearcats are on fire, baby, leading 12-3. We'll step aside and take a break for 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Requirements. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Back out of friends, Rob Pimple. Pleasant good evening. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston men's basketball here at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the first round of the WAC men's basketball tournament. Sam Houston on a 12-0 run over the last 346, all of them three-pointers after California Baptist got out to the early 3-0 lead. They are only shooting 25%, one of four, and one of three from downtown. While on the flip side, it's the Bearcats, four of seven, all four of their baskets coming on four of five from three-point shooting. Sam Houston doing a good job as well. Only two turnovers here to get things rocking and rolling. And a blistering 80% from downtown. As we'll come out of the media timeout, I want to remind you that Bearcat fan text line is open. We'd love to hear from you tonight. Send us those messages to 512-522-9105. Again, that's the Bearcat fan text line at 512-522-9105. As a reminder, data and text messaging rates may apply. Please don't text and drive. Again, as many also joining us in the booth tonight for our special in the booth video presentation. Luke Scott cheering on the Bearcats saying, let's go. My wonderful mother, Shirley Hip North of Austin, saying, eat them up. My beautiful fiance, Bridget, and my almost four month old daughter listening in tonight. Love you, sweetheart. Good to hear from y'all. As we get back into action here, the Lancers will inbound move from left, from right to left. It is Armstrong here bringing it, Taryn Armstrong. From right to left, drops his pass over to Reed Nottage. Nottage out there near the right wing. Savion flag all over him in the face. Back over to the right wing, the pass goes. It's Ty Rowell. Round we go to the left. Wing, Trey Armstrong, trapped down. Pass goes to Aiken, trying to post here, just outside the paint. Backing his way from the left baseline on Ipe. Turnaround jumper, no good. Ipe had a hand in his face, and the defense saying, you're not going to score on me yet. As Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court here for Sam Houston, leading 12 to three, 14, 35 to go here in the first. Ray rotating over the left wing. Takes a few right-handed dribbles, still picks it up now over to Marcus Lampley on the right wing. Finds Epe down the right baseline, near the circle, inside the paint, pass back to Lamp. Lamp over his left shoulder to Epe. Epe from the free throw line. Passes this one around, back to Ray. Ray at the top, down to two on the shot clock, takes a shot, this three-pointer no good. Rebound Aiken. And here come the Lancers. Quickly up front is Trey Armstrong to the right corner. Reed Nottage rims in and out. The three-pointer no good. Rebound Epe. We are six minutes gone here in Las Vegas. The Bearcats holding on to a 12-3 advantage. On that Miller time game clock, 13.55 and ticking. Jaden Ray, high screen Epe. Ray to the left elbow. Still has his dribble. Goes up top. Lampley for three. This one won't fall in. It bounced off the left side, then off the right. Dropped into the hands of the Lancers. Taryn Armstrong has it. 
And almost stolen here, Armstrong zings it over to the right corner to Trey, Trey for three, that one, Trey, no Trey. And we got a whistle here and a foul down there, maybe on JV on May, a little bit of a reach in as Aiken was trying to put up a shot. And I believe that is the call. Unfortunately, the officials were across from the scores table. And so as I saw it, I believe it's JV on May. So that is on JV on May, it's his First personal and only the second team by Sam Houston. Lancers inbounding, back to 20 on the shot clock. Pass goes up top to Elijah Thomas, stolen by Savion Flag. The bounce to Javon Grant, the freshman, as he is rejected, hits the deck hard. And a foul here is Javon Grant coming in, making an immediate impact. As Tristan E. Pay, Javion May, Jaden Ray over the bench. That is on Taryn Armstrong, his first personal, first team foul by California Baptist. And again, the 5'11 freshman guard, Javon Grant at the line, a 74% free throw shooter, 14 of 19 on the season. Missed the first one, now make it 14 of 20. He's got one more attempt coming up. Also in for the first time tonight, Dante Powers. And the Bearcat fan favorite, Kuba Kowalski. Here's a second free throw, rattle in and good. And so Javon Grant splitting the pair. Bearcats lead in double digits now, 13 to three. Trey Armstrong over to Taryn Armstrong actually had it. Near that right wing over to Ty Rowell. Back to Nottage. Rowell, right wing three. His shot off the mark. Rebound high up into the air. Javon Grant. Boy, he's got some ups here tonight. Grant into the front court. He'll find Savion Flag at the top. Flag wants to work one on two. Launches it over to Javon Grant. Grant from the left elbow down to Kuba. Kuba's trapped on the left baseline. He retreats back up top to Powers. Powers trying to wiggle through traffic, puts on a move. His jumper, good, baby. Oh, mama, what a crossover. And a move by Dante Powers on the right elbow. Bearcats leading 15 to three, 12.43 to go. Here's a shot from the right side. Somehow dropping in for Taryn Armstrong as he went over Kuba Kowalski. So that'll finally end the run for Sam Houston as they were on a 15-0 run. Leading 15-5, up top, Javon Grant on the right side. Grant picks up his dribble over the head, up top to Demarcus Lampley. Lampley, one left-handed dribble back to Grant. Grant, a couple of right-handed dribbles trapped on the right wing, finds Powers back up top. Kuba setting the high screen. Dante moves around it. Kuba on a pick and roll. Powers picks up his dribble, turn around jumper. They said no, he traveled. The shot rimmed in and out on that right side, but he traveled. So a turnover by the Bearcats. That is their third of the ball game. First by Dante Powers. Sam Houston leads 15 to five, 12.08 to go on the middle time game clock here in the first half. Terrence Armstrong will bring it to the front court here for the Lancers. Crossing over the WAC basketball tournament logo as he launched, drops one over his right hand into the hands of Reed Nottage. Nottage back down low. Here's a drop off on that left baseline and the shot good by Jelani Stone. A good assist down there. Stone, by the way, six foot seven sophomore forward, averages five points. He's played in 25 games, hasn't started any of them. It's 15 to seven. Sam Houston back on the right side. Grant finds separation, puts up a shot, no good. Off the left side of the glass, but he's fouled in two more free throw attempts coming up for Sam Houston's Javon Grant. It was foul was on Jelani Stone. It's his first personal, second team foul. And that will take us to our second media timeout. Again, Sam Houston leads 15 to seven, 11.38 to go. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 
Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Back at it, friends. 1138 to go on that Miller time game clock. We are live here at Portland's Arena in the first round of the WAC Men's Basketball Tournament. Sam Houston leads the Lancers 15-7. Bearcats have cooled off just a little bit from the field, now shooting 50% on 5 of 10, 4 of those on 4 of 7 from downtown. And again, Sam Houston with the 8-point advantage. We'll get back into it here. As before that timeout, the freshman Javon Grant was fouled. Two free throws coming up. He's one for two so far tonight from the charity stripe. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw. The first one good for Javon Grant. He'll have one more on the court down there to Marcus Lampley. Alongside Dante Powers in the backcourt down in the key. Savion Flag, Kuba Kowalski. And here's Javon Grant, second free throw. Good as well. So after missing the first one, he has now made three in a row from that charity stripe. Bearcats back to a 10-point advantage, 17 to seven, as the Lancers will bring it back into the front court from right to left. It is Taryn Armstrong. He's trapped down there near that right corner, backing up on Javon Grant, finds some separation, sings this one back up top to Hunter. Hunter on the left wing, powers with a hand in his face. This shot, no good. Binged around and it drops into the hands of Savion Flag. Over to Javon Grant. Grant looks over his left shoulder to head coach Jason Newton. Now advances into the front court. Works over from the left elbow. Floats one on a teardrop. Bank it home and good. Good shot down there. Javon Grant has five points. Coming alive here for the Bearcats. Sam Houston leads 19 to 7. 10 59 to go on that Miller time game clock. Nottage has it back over on the left side from the top. Couple of dribbles around back over to Taryn Armstrong. Armstrong still has it in his right hand. Javon Grant on him. Armstrong finding some separation. And a foul there. He was on his way to the basket. And it is a foul, I believe, it's going to be called on Javon Grant. That's his first personal third team foul by Sam Houston in the act of shooting. And so the freshman guard, Taryn Armstrong, at the line on the left side, averages 11 points a game. He is a 65% free throw shooter, 50 of 77 this year in 24 games. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw shot, good at the bottom of the net. Jaron Cook light in the stove, check it in for the first time tonight as DeMarcus light him up, Lampley heads back over to the bench. One more free throw coming up here for Taryn Armstrong. Armstrong takes a deep breath, takes a couple of dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, this one could as well. In substitution, Trey Armstrong will come back into the ball game for his brother Taryn. Taryn heads over to the bench with four points. Trey back in here. Still no points, 0 for 2 shooting tonight. He has played here in half the minute so far. Javon Grant back over from left to right. Find separation, right side good. Man, Javon Grant having a great game. The freshman now with seven points. And the Bearcats with a commanding 29, 21 to 9 advantage. 10.30 to go here in the first half. Back over the left side we are. Rowell has it near the top of the three. Holding the ball above his head. Now swing it over to the right elbow. Picks up his dribble. Over the head pass to Hunter. Hunter from the left elbow inside the paint. As Savion Flag got a hand on it. Goes into the backcourt. It's kept by the Lancers here. Now turned over as Hunter had a hand in his face. Javon Grant one on two. He'll pick up his dribble at the top of the three. Finds Powers over right wing to Cook. Cook puts on a move. Lost one up off the right side. No good. Kuba Krawowski with the rebound. Back over to Powers for three. This one off the front of the rim off that right side. It was a good look. Just wouldn't fall. 21-9. 9.50 to go here in the first half. Rao has it back over to the left side as he sings one over his left shoulder. Here's a three from the right wing. That shot won't drop for Jelani Stone. 9.40 to go. 21-9. Sam Houston up front. Moving from left to right. Javon Grant on the far side. Has a left-handed dribble, crosses over to his right hand, rotates to the right wing. Now the pass goes back over to Dante Powers. Powers, high screen, Kowalski drops this one. Cook way downtown, left wing. Yes, light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook from downtown. The Bearcats are blistering 24 to nine. And now shooting five for nine from downtown so far in this ball game. Aiken back to the top here for the Lancers. Stripped by Cook. Aiken though holds on to it. It's on the court. This one batted around, and Javon Grant comes up with it. Grant one on two. 
as he tries to crisscross his way inside. He'll retreat, goes back over to Dante Powers on the right side. Powers, a couple of left-handed dribbles over his right shoulder to Savion Flag near that right corner. Launches a three. This one off the right side of the rim. Another good look there for Savion, just wouldn't fall. Here come the Lancers here. It's Rao back from right to left. Has the ball in his right hand. Cross back over to his left on that right wing. Inside the paint through two. This pass goes over to Trey Armstrong. Left corner three, no good. Rebound, Savion Flag. Boy, a lot of action here. It's California Baptist only making two of their last 12 shots. They have not scored in two minutes and 14 seconds. As Dante Powers has it back on the right near side. 8.22 remaining. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Down to 15. As he uses his right hand to call traffic, has it on the left wing. Couple of right-handed dribbles here. Floats this one over to Kuba up top. Kowalski, drop off back over to Javon Grant. Finds Kuba, and this one bounced off the side of the hip. And boy, it should be. I thought for a minute there that he got it off the hip of Trey Armstrong. And they're gonna say it actually went out of bounds off Kuba Kowalski. From our vantage point, looked like Kowalski actually slapped it off Armstrong's hip, but it was an awkward angle from my perspective here on that left side. Javion May will check back into the ball game for the Bearcats as Kuba heads over to the bench. Again, Sam Houston, 24 to nine, 808 remaining on the Miller time game clock. Taron Armstrong also back into the ball game here. One foul, averages 11 points a game. Armstrong with four points here in this one coming off a field goal and two free throws. He's got it on the far side from right to left. Jaden Ray also back in for the Bearcats. Left-handed pass goes over to Trey. Trey from the left baseline. Picks up his dribble, goes back to Taron. Around the world we go over to the right wing. This one into the hands of Chance Hunter. Hunter drops it up top over to Malik Wade who checked in earlier, six foot eight sophomore forward. Back over here, Taron Armstrong from the left wing, floating it down low, finds Elijah Thomas. Left side good. It's a good feed, good assist down there. Taron Armstrong found him wide open. And that will stop a scoring drought of almost three minutes for California Baptist. Bearcats holding on to the 13-point advantage, 24 to 11. Jaden Ray has it back on the right side. Ipe also back out there. Here's another three. Left wing, good for Jaron Cook. Oh, mama, the stove is on fire tonight, 27 to 11. As the Lancers inbounding here, moving from right to left. Taron Armstrong on the far side, guarded by Jaden Ray. Holds the ball over his head, up top pass goes to Wade. Wade fires one from the hips. Down low, shot here off the right side, no good by Trey Armstrong. But there was a foul, that foul is called on Jaden Ray. It's his first personal, the 14 foul by Sam Houston. And that will take us to our third media timeout. Sam Houston leading 27 to 11, 701 remaining on the Miller time game clock. We'll take 90 seconds from Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm Agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us here from Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the first round of the WAC Men's Basketball Tournament. Sam Houston leading California Baptist 27 to 11. Sam Houston so far in this ball game, continuing their hot shooting as they are shooting 52, almost 53% of nine and 17 from the field, six of 11 from downtown, also three of four. All those four free throws, by the way, coming from the freshman Javon Grant. The Bearcats have only scored two down in the paint, but the bench has 15 so far tonight as Sam Houston has turned it over four times, California Baptist with seven. As we come out of that timeout, again, the foul was committed by Jaden Ray. Two free throws coming up here on that left side 
for Trey Armstrong. The junior guard, a 82% free throw shooter. He's one of the best on the team. First one on the way, and it is no good. We'll have one more attempt here for Armstrong. He averages 12 points a game, played in all 32 games. He started 19 of them. So take a few dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, good. He splits the pair. 27 to 11, under seven to go on the Miller time game clock as we get back into it here. Jaden Ray has it for Sam Houston on the far side, moving from left to right, pushes off with his left hand, retreats way out near the corner. Pass goes over to Jaron Cook, who's been hot from downtown, swings it from his right hip over to Ipe. Ipe, left jumper, no good. Took that one from about 13, good look, just wouldn't fall. Back the other way, Rao comes here from right to left. A couple of left-handed dribbles, has it near the left elbow, zings it around over to the right wing to Trey Armstrong for three, no. Rebound, Dante Powers as he skyrocketed his way into the air and hauled that one down. Jaden Ray will waltz his way into the front court, dead center at the timeline from left to right, guarded up top by Taryn Armstrong, the freshman guard. Running some time here, Jaden Ray waiting on the screen from Epe, elects to move out of it. Over the left, here's Jaron Cook, another three. This one off the left side in front of the rim, no good. And for Cook, that is his first miss from downtown, two of three. Back the other way, Trey Armstrong to the left side, into the hands of Taryn Armstrong, guarded by Javion May. Little shake and bake move on that right baseline. We got a bump and a foul here as Javion May pulled out the breath men on a tic-tac foul there. So that'll be Javion May's second personal, the 15 foul by Sam Houston with 5.57 to go on that Miller time game clock. Bearcats, 15 point advantage, 27 to 12. As Malik Wade will head over to the bench for the Lancers. Back into the ball game, Juwani Stone. Inbound here from Taron Armstrong in his own right baseline all the way up top, up to Wade. Pass over to the right wing, Armstrong, Taron. Retreats. Jaden Ray on him, trying to move around a high screen. On a pick and roll here, Armstrong holds on to it. Stone is down there, this one is knocked away, partially blocked, here comes Dante Powers. Powers quickly turning on some juice, he'll slow things up a bit though as he looks over to Coach Hooten over his left shoulder. Up to Jaden Ray, Ray to the left wing, couple of left-handed dribbles. Still plenty of time on the shot clock, up top over to Jaron Cook. Cook with one right-handed dribble, fires this one over to Jaden Ray near the right baseline. Ray wiggles through defenders, finds Ipe, drop it in, no. But a foul and two free throws coming up for Tristan Ipe. Ipe, the junior forward for the Bearcats, 61% free throw shooter, 44 of 77 on the season, and that foul is going to go there on Jelani Stone. It is second personal, I believe only the third team foul by California Baptist. So again, Tristan Ipe on the right side takes a deep breath, one dribble, bends his knees, left-handed free throw, boy, it rimmed in and out. It was halfway down and popped out of the cylinder. I have one more chance here. Dante Powers and Jaden Ray behind the three-point line, down in the keys as Savion Flag and Jaron Cook. Ipe takes another deep breath, couple of dribbles here, bends his knees, left-handed free throw, good. That time it bounced three times on the left side of the rim off the back of the 10 and dropped in. 28 to 12, Bearcats by 16, with 5.15 to go here. They have their largest lead of the ball game now. Lancers back to the left side, trapped down there is Armstrong, somehow finds his teammate, and a nice shot off the left side of the glass by Jelani Stone. So Armstrong was trapped, two Bearcats were all over him, Stone was able to wiggle his way through defenders. 28-14, Sam Houston, with the lead, Jaron Cook, that one gets knocked into the backcourt. Not a backcourt violation, it was deflected. I think some of the fans were wanting that, but it was deflected off Trey Armstrong. Here's a three, Jaron Cook off the right side, too strong. He is now cooled off to a four from downtown. Back over, Stone has it inside the paint. Skip dip here and a foul on the court. This one called on Sam Houston. There was a couple of Bearcats down there. They're gonna put this one on Jaron Cook. So it's his first personal and the 16 foul. And actually, it's the seventh team foul by Sam Houston. So, Stone at the line here. Jelani Stone at the line here on that left side. He is a 39% three point a free throw shooter, only 15 to 38 on the season. On the one and one, misses it. And the rebound as Tristan Ipe ripped it out of the air. 4.32 to go here in the first half on the Miller time game clock. Sam Houston leads 28 to 14. Jaden Ray has it on the right side. Working his dribble from the left to the right. Finds Savion flag near the top of the three. Crossing over from the right elbow. Here's a jumper. Yo, it was in and out. Rebound. Lampley trying to save it. 
and it went off of the right shoulder, I believe, of Taryn Armstrong, or I beg your pardon, off of Sam Houston, and it will go right back to the Lancers. Now again, 4.15 to go on that clock here in the first half. Sam Houston 28, California Baptist 14. An inbound pass here from the sideline coming up as uh, Lancers Reed Nottage had to tie his shoe. The official gave him a few moments, and we're back into action. He'll dart this one in over to Taryn Armstrong. Armstrong working off the high screen to the left wing, way over his right shoulder to Nottage. Nottage near the right corner, back over to Taryn Armstrong. Inside the paint, floater, no good. Ipe pokes it away over to Lampley. Lampley, no look, pass over to Jaden Ray on the far side. Ray has it here from left to right. Has his right-handed dribble, crosses between his legs over the left hand on the left wing. Ray, high screen Ipe. Ray rotates around now to the right wing. Picking up a lot of court here. Down low to Savion Flag. Turnaround jumper, too strong. That one bounced off the left side. And here come the Lancers, all the way down low. As this pass goes to Aiken, out of bounds. Turn it over, baby. He goes right back to the Bearcats. Sam Houston, oh, of their last five, they have not made a field goal in the last four minutes. And that will take us to a timeout. We'll step aside. We'll take 60 seconds on this break. Stay with us. Bearcats lead 28 to 14, 331 to go. They've got the ball when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Back at it, friends. We're coming out of the timeout. Sam Houston leads 28 to 14, 331 to go on that Miller time game clock. Thanks for joining us live from New Orleans. I beg your pardon, from Orleans Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sam Houston has now cooled off to 40% from the field, 9 of 22 shooting. During that last timeout, they were 9 of 17, so they have not scored from the field from the third media timeout now to the fourth. They are still a little bit hot from downtown, 6 of 13 and 4 of 6 from the free throw line. Sam Houston, though, Trying to hold on here in this first half, turning it over four times, eight turnovers for California Baptist. And out of the gate for Sam Houston. When Savion Flagg is on the court, they're up by 14. He's got to play an important role here for this Bearcat team. Savion, by the way, in every game that he's played as a Bearcat has scored in double digits except one, and that was the game where he had the injury. 28-14 back into action here. Jaden Ray has it from the Flag inbound, up top over to Ipe. Ipe spinning around from the left wing, trying to find Savion Flag here down low and turns it over. Drop this one off into the hands of Trey Armstrong. Armstrong back over to Ty Ryle, takes a three, no good. Gets his own rebound, takes another jumper for two. This shot won't fall. Jaden Ray has it off the left side of the glass. Ray with three minutes to go here in the first half, bringing it into the front court. Savion Flag out there alongside Ipe, Lampley, and Powers. Ray. At the top of the three, in between the logo and that top. Pass back, Savion Flag. Ray skedaddles his way inside. That shot no good. Bounces off Ipe's back and drops over to Aiken. Here come the Lancers on the far side. From right to left, Taryn Armstrong. Guarded by Flag. Armstrong holds the ball at his right hip. Pass it over his right shoulder. Give and go. Nottage back over to Trey. Trey down to 15 on that shot clock. Finds Rao here. Ty Rao from the left. Elbow now inside to paint his jumper, no good. A rebound to Ipe, and Ipe will flip it behind him over to Jaden Ray. Bearcats, only one of their last eight shots. They have not scored in three minutes. Ray has it, chest pass over to Dante Powers. Powers a couple of right-handed dribbles, picks it up over his left shoulder to Lampley, back over to Ray. Ray bounces this one down near the paint. Ipe picks up his dribble, spins around, back over. Six on the shot clock for Jaden Ray. And a push and a foul there, Jaden Ray, an offensive charge. 
Jaden Ray, the five foot ten junior, pushed a little bit too hard. Trey Armstrong, 6'5", went down. And for a 5'11", to throw a 6'5", down that hard, you got to use a lot of force. 2.01 to go here on that Miller time game clock. Bearcats will turn it back over, leading 28 to 14. They've led by as many as 16, but thanks to the cold shooting by the Lancers as well, the Bearcats have maintained their large lead. Pass over to Stone, drop it off over to Nottage at the top, guarded by Savion Flag. Chest pass, Armstrong, Terran left wing, no good. The three pointers aren't falling, but the offensive rebound, the putback is good for Ty Rowell. California Baptist only making one of nine from downtown, and that was the opening shot of the game when they led 3 0. Since then, they've went cold. Jaden Ray back over the right side, 130 to go, 28 16. Bearcats. Ray finds Javon Grant on the left wing. Grant with seven points. He's had a good first half over to Epe. Good ball movement to Lampley. Left wing three, no good. That one went off the back right of the 10. Rebound Lancer. Sam Houston still can't buy a bucket here. In the last four minutes, Armstrong has it. Taron inside the paint, flips this one off the right side of the glass, no good. Gets his own offensive rebound, tries to put up a shot here, and he's fouled, and I think that one's going to go on Tristan Ipe as he reached in on him. We'll see, though. Well, no, it's actually going to go into Marcus Lampley. That's his first personal, and for Sam Houston, already has California Baptist in the bonus, but that one was in the act of shooting their eighth team foul. Two shots coming up here on that left side for Taron Armstrong, the freshman, 65% free throw shooter. The first one rims in and out, no good. Jaron Cook will check back into the ball game for Jaden Ray. Jaden will get a high five from Coach Hoot and also assistant coach Bailey out there. One more free throw coming up here for Taron Armstrong. The attempt, the shot, good. Splits the pair, 28-16. Sam Houston up front, one minute to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first half. Javon Grant has it here in the front court, turns on the juice, baby to the right side, that shot good. Oh man, the speed from Javon Grant, he's got nine points, and the Bearcats needed a basket after not making any of their last seven. Javon Grant finally finds some separation, 30 to 17. Sam Houston up front, Lancers have it here. Sam Houston will get a chance for the last shot. Here's a three from the left wing. That shot off the mark for Nottage. There's actually about a .4 second differential from the game clock and the shot clock. Javon Grant, sure he'll run down some clock here. Jaden Ray not on the court. He's usually the guy that's out there for these last minute shots, but he took a seat on the bench a little bit earlier. Javon Grant holding the ball on his right hip in between his arm, taking some breaths here, winding down the clock. Grant to the right wing, launches it over his head to flag. Here's flag, he's fouled. And no, he traveled, oh man. I thought for a moment maybe they reached in on him, but it's a travel by Savion Flag with four seconds to go. The Lancers will have the last shot here. Inbounding is Nottage. Nottage goes over to Taron Armstrong, down to one. Armstrong gets it knocked away by Javon Grant. Oh, the freshman having a superb first tournament game as a Bearcat. That'll take us to the halftime. Sam Houston leads 30 to 17. Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship studios as your halftime show. We'll step aside and take a break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. 
Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. And a blessing good evening, Bearcat fans everywhere. Welcome to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show back here at the flagship station in Hunts, Vegas. Bearcats are in Las Vegas, but got a good one for you so far tonight. The Bearcats currently on top 30 to 17 over the California Baptist Lancers, the eight seed, the Bearcats, the five seed here in the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. Quickly recapping that first half for you. The Bearcats got it going early. 6 nothing run out of the gate with a pair of threes from Demarcus Lampley and Savion Flagg. Flagg added two more threes after a California Baptist timeout to make it 12-3 at the 17-minute mark. But after that, a whole lot of no scoring on both sides of the ball. Defense, however, for the Bearcats was on fire in that sequence. That hot start the Bearcats had, they started 4-4. Four four. They, at that point, had cooled to 5-10. of 10. As the game reached its halfway point, Javon Grant. Man, folks, let me tell you something about Javon Grant. This kid has been an incredible force for the Bearcats down the stretch of this season. He has come up with some clutch playing down the stretch, and he's got nine points so far in this ball game. When he came into the ball game at first, made an instantaneous impact with a pair of free, with a few free throws, I should say, and then a couple of shots of his own. That made it twenty-one to nine at that halfway point. And as the game progressed, Jaron Cook was able to splash a couple of threes, make it twenty-one to seventeen. Bearcats at the under eight media timeout. As the rest of the game progressed, the three-pointer had cooled off for the Bearcats. They were at 6 of 13 at around the under four. Plus, the Bearcats did not make a bucket in the 7.5-minute to 3.5-minute marks of the half, and it helps that California Baptist uh, was not shooting very well either. 28% at that point from the field, 13% from three. And then the Bearcats finally did break that streak down the stretch from Javon Grant making another floater darting to the net to make it 30 to 17 and that's where we are at right now at halftime in the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Here's a look at the stats so far for your Bearcats. Javon Grant leading the way tied with Savion Flag with 9 points apiece to each of them. Grant is 3 of 3. Flag, however, 3 of 7. All his buckets have come from outside the arc. Demarcus Lampley, he's got a 3 as well. He hit that one to make it 3-3 earlier. Tristan Ipe's got 1. Jaren Cook's got 6. Dante Powers has 1 bucket with 2 points. JV on May, Jaden Ray, and Kuba Karwowski have all seen the floor for the Bearcats. They have no points as of this moment. Looking at team stats, Sam Houston shooting 40% from the field, 10 of 25. Not quite where you want it, but could be better. California Baptist, however, 6 of 25 from the field, 24% as well. 1 of 11 from downtown for the Lancers. Bearcats, 43% of 6 of 14. Free throw shooting, Bearcats are 4 of 6, good for 67%. 4 of 7 are the Lancers at 57%. 8 turnovers by the Lancers, 7 for the Bearcats. 9 points off of the turnovers for Cal Baptist, and 7 for the Bearcats. Bearcats winning the rebounding battle. They did not win that rebounding battle. Back in Riverside, so they're leading it right now 18-17, but however, California Baptist has four offensive boards. Bearcats have two. Two blocks for the Bearcats, one for Cal Baptist, six steals for Sam Houston to, to, uh, excuse me, to CBU's two, six assists for the Bearcats. Lancers have four. As we'll continue along here and take a look real quick at the college basketball 
scoreboard and update coming up later tonight in the nightcap. Utah Valley and Abilene Christian, they tip off at 10.30 p.m., a late night here. That's 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 8.30 Las Vegas time. Should be a good one there. The winner of that advances to play Stephen F. Austin. Of course, the winner of this game will advance to play Grand Canyon. Earlier today in the game just before this one, the Bearcat women knocking off Lamar 73-69 to in a nail-biting finish. To advance, the Bearcats will get California Baptist coming up tomorrow afternoon. And if I'm not mistaken, that will open tournament action tomorrow. And of course, Utah Valley winning last night over Chicago State and California Baptist on the men's side, knocking off UTRGV to send them back to Edinburgh. Got a lot of great stuff happening in Las Vegas this weekend. We'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, however, that's going to do it for my end of the show. We'll send it back to Las Vegas. Rob Hibbs got Josh Criswell on for the rest of the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll step aside and take a break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Requirements. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. All right, friends, back at it here. Halftime, 6.54 to go in the half. We are live from Orleans Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Rob Pipp, your Bearcat men's leading California Baptist 30-17. to Special thanks to Carlos back at the flagship for that halftime report. But now joined, I think for the first time this season, by Mr. Jason Barfield, not Josh Criswell. We had him on a little bit earlier. I forgot to tell Carlos back in the studio we had Jason on at halftime. Uh, Jason, we haven't had a chance to talk this year on a broadcast, man. Good to good to hear from you, and uh, great to be here in Las Vegas. Man, this is a fantastic experience, isn't it? You know, it's funny. I was just kind of um, just thinking back to this time of year. I was going through Facebook and all the Facebook memories, and um, you know, this time of year was always Katie. And uh, you know, when you with, with my family, I had kids growing up, and that was spring break. I mean, that's. When they would ask, you know, when the teachers would say, hey, what are y'all doing for spring break? They would say, we're going to Katie. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they had Katie Mills, they had Chuck E. Cheese and a little basketball, and it was perfect. My kids are 17 and 20 now, you know. They've grown past that, and, you know, it's kind of fitting. As a department, we've grown past that as well, you know. It's a little bit more adult venue, uh, you know, but being out here in Vegas, this is this is a great experience. There's so much happening here. I mean, five basketball tournaments going on in town. Um, it's just, it's been a fantastic experience so far. And, you know, women winning earlier today. Uh, so getting, you know, getting the trip off to a good start because, you know, you never like to go down for a tournament and then lose. And we've seen that happen where, you know, you get bounced in that first and all of a sudden, you're so excited for that tournament experience, and then first day it's done. So, you know, big win for the women today, and, you know, right now you like what the men are doing. Well, the men, of course, had that first uh, – The it's kind of weird how they call it because you have the opening round, and then this is the first round. So that confused some people. So it is really the second game, but it is the first round. And, Jason, you got to be on that call for the women. Pretty exciting game there. Lamar was leading early, but the Bearcats came back, took care of business. And, you know, since Raven Justice has returned, the Bearcats have been on fire. They have done an excellent job. Yeah, ten wins now since her return after um, – dropping the first six in league play and 
you know it's it's been a, it's a different team and you know you you see what kind of impact she has as a head coach I mean, in, in any in any situation with any team if you lose your head coach you're gonna suffer it's gonna it's there's gonna be consequences there's just something extra special though with her and and just the presence she has and the moves that she makes I mean and she subs a lot if you've ever watched her coach a game it is constant motion she's sending people in and out and you know there was a moment today early in the game she took Faith Cook out of the game literally talked to her for 15 seconds and then sent her right but Faith didn't even get a chance to sit down it was it's just constant back and forth and you know it, it's just such a huge impact and you know I think especially in a game like today a three-point game Every single move you make is big, and she just made all the right moves in today's game. We're talking to Jason Barfield, Sports Information Director for Sam Houston. I know you carry a lot of titles as well, man, but for you, just being around the Cats program for so long and going to school here, what excites you most about just these tournaments, and, and especially now here in the WAC getting to play at least for two years here in Las Vegas. Then we'll be back at Frisco uh, with Conference USA, but it's got to be a lot of fun for you, man. I, I've always loved March. I mean, even – you know, going back to, to junior high, I mean, I was the kid in junior high who was running the bracket pools. You know, I mean, that that's just Was all, there any money involved? No, always, no money involved. Of course there was, <laughs> you know. I'm the first, you know, seventh grader who's running game in my Barbers Hill Middle School. The Barfield you know, but, brackets. You know, I guarantee I had every coach in it as well, too. So, you know. But, I've, you know, this is, this is the time of year I've always, always liked. I went to my first NCAA tournament in 97 in San Antonio. And, uh, you know, I've been to, I think, four Final Fours now. And uh, th it's just, this is my, this is one of my favorite times of year. And, um, you know, like I said, Katie, Katie was special. It was always fun to go down. But, man, there's just something about being in Vegas, being, you know, going into the airport, and you're walking through the airport in Vegas, and the Hawaii cheerleaders are coming by, and then there's Air Force, and you know all these schools, and you're like, okay, yeah, Mountain West is out here. Oh, the Pac-12 tournament's about to start. You're seeing Oregon, and you're just seeing all these schools, and it just feels like you're part of the tournament already. You know that experience is already here. Um, you know we don't have to wait to see if we're going to get in to be part of it. It feels like you know we're already there. This is this is that first step. This is that. This is honestly. And it's always been that way, whether it was the Southland or the WAC. Now, this is where the NCAA tournament starts. You you have to win every single game now. When you lose, your season is over. So, so yeah, the NCAA tournament has its play-in games and its opening round games, stuff like that. That's exactly what these are. These are an extension of that. If you take that 68-team bracket, just build it out about four more rounds beyond that because that's where we are right now, yep. and it just has that tournament feel. Well, Jason, as always, appreciate you and all that you do, man, and uh, looking forward to a great second half and also looking forward to the Bearcat on the women's side taking care of business. You'll be on those calls. You can hear Jason Barfield, the audio call, at GoBearcats.com. Jason, before I let you go, man, it's like an omen of mine now. you got to say eat them up, em up, cats, on the count of three. You ready, my friend? Let's do it. One, two, three. Eat, eat em up, em up cats. cats. We'll take a break. Second half coming up when we come back. From Ben Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. All right, friends, back at it here from Orleans Arena. I'm Rob Pip, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Bearcats leading California Baptist 30 to 17. 
And if you'll notice, my voice changes a little bit because I had a break. Thank you, Carlos Zimmerman. About three days ago, I lost my voice. That's always your biggest fear as a radio broadcaster. Uh, but a lot of that warm honey tea has kept me through this one. We'll get back into action. I told Jason if Jaron Cook starts hitting them threes again, it may start quieting down as far as that voice goes. Here we go back into action. California Baptist will go from left to right. Here's an opening three from the corner. That shot is no good. Rebound, Savion flag. Trey Armstrong took the three. Just underway. Here we go. Bearcats have it. They'll move from right to left. Jaden Ray has it. Javion May on the court. Savion flag back to our starters, Demarcus Lampley and Ipe. Lampley from the left corner. Now back to the left wing. Drop one down over to Ipe near the left baseline. Retreats over to the left elbow. Up top pass goes to Savion flag. Flag launches one over to Lampley near the right wing. Down to four on the shot clock. He's double teamed. Bounce down low. Ipe's got to find him. Here's flag at the buzzer on its way for three. No good off the back of the iron. Sam Houston didn't want that one, unfortunately. Barely got it away. Back the other way, Taron Armstrong has it here on that right side over to Thomas. Now down low, back to Taron. This one popped up. Rowell able to hold on to it. Launching one down. Savion Flag tips it away, and it goes into the hands of Lampley. Here come the Bearcats, leading 30-17. to 18-58, one minute gone on the Miller Time game clock here in the second half. Javion May has it on the left wing. Back up over to Ipe. Ipe from the hip. In the belt line, over to Ray, down low. Here's Epe, slam it home off the assist from Savion Flag, And the Bearcats with authority on their second possession here in the second half, leading 32 to 17. Back over to the right side. As Armstrong has it, Taron Armstrong on that right wing, guarded by Jaden Ray. Armstrong, no look pass over to Trey Armstrong, almost turned it over, back up top to Thomas. Thomas turns it over, he traveled. He was trying to find an open teammate, held on to the ball, and he turned it over. Aiken's telling him, hey, man, you got to get rid of that ball, his teammate down there. 32-17, Sam Houston up front, 18-20 to go here in a ball game. Our good friend Carlos Sanchez joining us. Appreciate you, Carlos. Also, Brian Nicholas, Damon Nicholas Jr.'s family joining us here tonight. Bearcats back on the left side. Lampley on that right corner, retreats to the right wing as he is guarded by Rowell. Lampley, here's a three on its way. Good, light him up, baby. Put on the sunglasses, it's DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley. The Bearcats leading 35 to 17. With 17.50 to go, back the other way, a shot and a foul. The shot is no good. It's put up there by Trey Armstrong. The foul is on JB on May. It's his third personal, the first team foul by the Bearcats here in the second half. And so free throws coming up here for Trey Armstrong. He's the junior guard, 82% free throw shooter, makes the first one. I'll have one more. A couple substitutions here. Dante Powers will check in for JV on May. Coach Hooten's going to pull May with three fouls. Hooten having a quick heart-to-heart -heart chat there with JV on May. Gives him a pat on the back. Here's the second free throw. Good as it drops in for Trey Armstrong. We'll go here from right to left. Jaden Ray has it on the far side. Ray working a dribble here. Left hand inside the paint. Picks up his dribble. Turn around. Jumper no good. Savion Flag paddles it back over. Epe. He tries to drop it in. No good. This one tipped back out to Rao. Rao goes over to Taryn Armstrong. Actually, it's Trey Armstrong. Trey goes over to Taryn. Taryn from the belt line. Back to Rao on the right wing. Swings this one around. Works inside from the right. Baseline, bounce pass goes down to Trey Armstrong. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Trey has it out there in the left wing, guarded by Lampley. High screen by Aiken. Launches this one back over all the way to Terran. He'll take a three, right wing, no good. Rebound to Ipe. Here come the Bearcats. It's Jaden Ray from right to left. Chest pass goes over to Dante Powers, back to Ray. Ray taking some time here. Bearcats lead 35-19. 6.48 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the second half. Over to Dante Powers, left wing, up top to Ipe. Ipe, hand off to Powers. Powers from the right paint, lay it up and good. He found separation, dropped it in off the glass. The Bearcats leading 37-19 to with 16.30 to go on the Miller time game clock. Bearcats, by the way, with their largest lead at 18. Lancers have it, they turn it over. Daniel Aiken was trying to find a teammate, didn't find him. And substitution as Jelani Stone will check into the ball game alongside Reed Nottage. And Elijah Thomas will head over to the bench. 
for the Lancers. Sam Houston has it here, their largest lead at 18, 37 to 19, 616 to go in the middle time game clock here in the ball game. Dante Powers up top over to Ipe. Ipe, low pass down to Ray. Ray inside the paint. Floats one up, right side, good. Rocket Man finds his shot, 39 to 19. It's the Bearcats by 20. Hard to believe this Sam Houston team led at the half, holding California Baptist only 17 points. Lancers have it here. It's a turnaround by Stone inside the semicircle, and good. 39-21. Bearcats have outscored California Baptist 9-4 here in this second half of play. Plenty of time, 15-30 to go in the ball game. Pass from Ray over to Lampley on the right wing. Lampley has a three here in this half, down low over to Savion Flag. Flag, right baseline jumper on its way, spins, good. Savion Flags extends it back to a 20-point Bearcat advantage. Darren Armstrong into the front court from left to right. Ray guarding him, right-handed pass over to Nottage. Nottage over the head, back over here. Left wing three won't fall for Trey Armstrong. Rebound Epe. Jaden Ray, he'll dance his way into the front court from right to left. Over near the scores table to the right wing. Jaden Ray. Uses his left hand, taps on his shoulder to direct traffic. Puts Dante Powers at the top on a pass. Powers from his right hip back over to Lampley. 10 on the shot clock. Lampley inside the paint, has separation. Left side, no good. He's fouled hard right in front of the cameraman. And two free throws coming up for DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley. That foul is on Jelani Stone, his third personal. And the first team foul by California Baptist here in this second half. It's the Bearcats with a 20-point advantage, 41 to 21, 14-40 to go. We'll step aside for 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Back at it, friends. 14.40 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Bearcats leading California Baptist 41 to 21. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here live from Las Vegas, Nevada at the Orleans Arena. Sam Houston with their largest lead of the ball game so far. I want to remind you that Bearcat fan text line is open. As always, we'd love to hear from you tonight. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. Let us know where you're listening from. For that timeout, DeMarcus Lampley was fouled. Jelani Stone fouled him. It was his third foul, so two free throws coming up here for the 57% free throw shooters. Lampley will take a couple of deep breaths here on the left side. Straddles his stance, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, no good. He'll have one more coming up. One more here, he missed the first one. Next one on the way, good, he splits the pair. So DeMarcus Lampley splits the free throws. 14.38 to go, Bearcats. Extend their largest lead now at 21. 42-21, 14-33 to go in the middle time game clock. 
Back over the right side, Rowell has it up top to the right wing. Couple of right-handed dribbles, and here's a three from the right corner. That shot's good for Taryn Armstrong. So a three finally falls in. That's only the second time a three-pointer has went in tonight for California Baptist. Jaden Ray has it on the left wing. A couple of right-handed dribbles here. Bearcats lead 42-24, 14 minutes ago in the middle of time. Game clock over to flag, down low, Ipe. Ipe inside, and he traveled. Turned it over, Tristan Ipe. So a turnover here, Javon Grant back into the ball game as Jaden Ray and Tristan Ipe head over to the bench. Dante Powers. Remains out there, Kuba Kowalski, the Bearcat fan favorite back in for Sam Houston. Taryn Armstrong has it here on the right side. Couple of right-handed dribbles behind the back from the right elbow. Back up top, goes to Trey Armstrong. He'll take a jumper from the free throw line, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds by Savion Flag and stay with California Baptist. Thirteen thirty-four to go on the Miller time game clock. Back to 20 on the shot clock here for the Lancers. They'll take a shot on the inbound, no good. And boy, Savion Flag ripped it down like Jerry Rice with one hand on the rebound off the left side. Javon Grant on the far side from right to left as he will bring it into the front court here. The freshman having a solid night. Floats this one up, almost an alley-oop to Savion Flag, but he missed the dunk. Javon Grant said, my bad. And Coach Houghton, is he not too happy with those kind of plays? So he just has a quick glance over at Savion Flag and Javon Grant. He's not upset about this one, though. It's a good look down there. The Bearcats have completed many of those this season on the alley-oop, just a miss one there. It's Coach Houghton calling out plays to his team on the defensive side. It's 42-24, 13 minutes to go on the Miller time game clock. Taryn Armstrong to the right side. Works it in from the right side of the glass. He's fouled, two free throws coming up. Missed the shot, but he'll have an opportunity at the free throw line. It's on Javon Grant, his second personal, second team foul by Sam Houston. And again, Taron Armstrong at the line here, shooting two. The freshman guard, 65% free throw shooter. First one on the way, good at the bottom of the net. He'll have one more. One more here for Armstrong. This one on the way, no good. Rebound, Savion Flag. Bearcats leading 42-25. Javon Grant has it from right to left. On that left wing, guarded by Nottage. Grant working a dribble. Find Savion Flag back to the right wing. High screen, Kuba Krawalski. Flag, chest pass down to Grant, trying to find some separation on the left baseline, back over to Flag. Left wing three off the front of the rim, no good. Tipped out by Kowalski. Back over to Lampley, down low to Powers. Pass goes down low to Kowalski, slam it home, and we got a whistle here and a foul. It's on the offensive side. Coach Hooten not happy as he had a word with one of the officials. It's on Kuba Kowalski, his second personal third team foul. So an offensive foul there. Sam Houston leading 42-25, 12-24 to go here in the ball game. Taryn Armstrong to the right side, trying to go coast to coast. Stripped by Kowalski, held on though by Armstrong. Back over to Ty Rowell. Now into the corner, working inside here. Not, it's poked from behind by Flag up top to Lampley. Lampley, left wing three, let it fly, baby. That shot won't fall. Rebound up top, Savion Flag. Offensive rebound leading to another opportunity here for the Bearcats. Javon Grant has it on the left side. Using his left hand to direct traffic. High screen, Savion Flag. Grant rotates back over. Finds Flag down near the right baseline. He'll take a jumper on its way. Good. Savion Flag, a long two pointer. It's 44 25. Sam Houston leading, 11.30 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first round of the playoffs. Rao back on the right side, feeding it down low. So this one dropped in, Aiken, a good assist. And that will take us to 
Immediate timeout. 44-27, 11.25 to go on the Miller Time game clock. We'll step aside for 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Cat course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat course in Huntsville. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us. Rob Hip here, 44-27. Sam Houston men's basketball leading California Baptist here in the round one of the playoffs. Here in this first round, the opening round was last night as UT Rio Grande Valley losing to California Baptist. That set us up for this one here today. And Sam Houston with a commanding advantage right now, trying to hold on and advance to tomorrow. We'll have a game at the same time. The winner of this ball game will face the fourth seed Grand Canyon. Sam Houston looking in prime position here against a very tough California Baptist team. The Cats will send Kuba Kurwowski, Dante Powers, Savion Flagg, Demarcus Lampley, and Javon Grant back onto the court. And here in just a few moments, we'll get back underway. Again, 44-27, 11-20. Five to go on the Miller Time game clock. As Savion Flag set to inbound. Guarded here by Daniel Aiken on the inbound. A little bit of pressure here in the backcourt. It's three or back there by California Baptist. The Bearcats move out of it. Dante Powers has it on the left side over to Javon Grant. Grant stands to the left of the WAC logo at center court. Now near the right wing, right-handed dribble Armstrong on him. It's Taryn Armstrong. Trapped. Grant launches it over to Kuba Kurwowski at the top, back over, down to eight seconds. Javon Grant, step back three on the way. This one off the back of the 10, no good. High rebound up in the air by Ty Rowell. Rowell wanting to push the issue here from left to right. He'll go over to Thomas on the right wing. Thomas trying to work from inside the paint. Skips this one, picks up his dribble, holds down his left pivot foot. Launches this one back to Taron Armstrong near the half court line. Guarded by Dante Powers, Taron. Trying to move around, Aiken has the screen. Taron holds on to it near the left elbow, over the head pass, right wing three on its way. This one is no good by Reed Nottage. Rebound, Kuba Kowalski. Here come the Bearcats. Javon Grant will walk his way into the front court on the near side from right to left. Stands at the bottom part of the logo at center court, now retreats top of the three. Working a dribble here from the right elbow. Now to the right wing, down low, Kuba, slam it home, baby. Hello, mama, back in Warsaw, Poland, Kuba Kowalski. The seven foot two center with authority as he slammed it home. We got a whistle here, the officials. A timeout. It's a media timeout. 46 27. Sam Houston up front. 10 08 to go on a Miller Time game clock. We'll take 90 seconds. We'll go back to Carlos Zimmerman at the flagship studios. He's got some updates for you. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here inside the flagship KSAM studios here in Huntsville, Texas. Want to remind you folks, Sam Houston women's basketball has advanced on their end of the tournament, knocking off Lamar earlier today, 73-69. to They will get California Baptist coming up tomorrow afternoon. On the other side of that bracket, Abilene Christian fell to UTRGV earlier today. The Vaqueros with the upset, 73-70. to They will get Utah Valley on the other side. And, of course, coming up later tonight in the nightcap, Utah Valley and Abilene Christian. That'll be a good one to watch, folks. If you want to just get some late night basketball, put on a pot of coffee. That game tipping off 
at about 10.30 p.m. And then around the world of college basketball, not much to talk about right now in terms of local teams. HBU beating UIW today 74-64 to in the opening round of the Southland Tournament. McNeese on top of Northwestern State, 79-55, to minute 50 left in the second. Let's get you back to the Orleans Arena with Rob Hip. Appreciate you, Carlos. Back here, 10 to go on that Miller time game clock. Again, the Bearcats leading 46-27 to as they are shooting in this ball game so far, 43.6% on 17 of 39 from the field. They were 6 of 14 from downtown to open up the ball game in the first half. They only made one here in the second half, 7 of 19 from three-point land at 36%. Overall, in five of eight from the charity stripe, Sam Houston trying to hold on here and advance again to the second round. We talked about earlier the winner of this ball game will face Grand Canyon coming up. I want to remind you this game is made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Kowalski will remain out there. Javon Grant on the court for Sam Houston. Dante Powers, Javion May, and Savion Flag. And for the Lancers of California Baptist, Trey Armstrong alongside Taryn Armstrong, Rowell, Thomas, and Aiken. Those are your players on the court. And set to inbound here just on the right side of that scores table is Reed Nottage. He'll get the go-ahead from the official Nottage. Launches this one in the backcourt over to Taryn Armstrong, guarded by Javon Granin. Here we go, we're back underway, 10 minutes to go. Taryn Armstrong to the right side, couple of right-handed dribbles, works off a high knotted screen from inside the paint near the free throw line in the right elbow, the jumper's no good. Rebound, Javion May as he fell backwards. And they'll call him with a the travel there, but that's just one of those tough rebounds for Javion May. But a good effort down there by him. Inbounding, Taryn Armstrong. 9.53 to go in the Miller time game clock. California Baptist trails Sam Houston 46 to 27. Armstrong on the right baseline. Fires this one way up high over the right wing into the hands of Ty Rowell. Rowell, Dante Powers guarding him over the head pass near the top of the three. Goes back over the left wing. Taron Armstrong down there thinking about a three. Good defense. Javon Grant now back over. Right wing three. This one rims in and out. No good for Nottage. And a rebound by the Bearcats. Javon Grant, nine points in this ball game. The freshman having a good night, three of four from the field. As he'll bring it into the front court here, high screen Kowalski. Kowalski now rolls down inside the paint. Mismatch down there. Kuba stands at 7-2, launches back over. Grant for three. Yes, baby. He splashed it home from the right wing. Javon Grant in double digits with 12 points. And the Bearcats leading 49-27. Sam Houston back with it here. On the defensive rebound, the miss by the Lancers. Rebound, Savion Flag. Again, 49-27 your score, 8.52 to go. On the Miller time game clock. Sam Houston has it, it's Javon Grant at the top. Grant, left wing, working a few dribbles, finds Dante Powers. Powers, down low to Kuba on the left baseline. Kuba trying to find Javion May, and it's out of bounds off the fingertips of California Baptist. Substitution on the court as Rao will head over to the bench. Checking in for him is Trey Armstrong. And Javon Grant about to inbound here in just a few moments. Goes back over here, inbound to Javion May. Alley-oop, slam it home, baby! Javion flag! Threw it down with authority off of the Javion May assist. It's 51, 27, 8, 23 to go. Here's a three from the left wing. That shot won't fall for Chance Hunter. Took a chance on the three. It was a good look, wouldn't fall. Bearcats here with it, moving from right to left. Again, leading 51 to 27. It's their largest lead of the ball game at 24. Javon Grant has it. Trying to work inside the paint from the left wing. Goes up top to Jaron Cook. Cook from the right wing, fires a three. This one off the front of the rim, no good. The rebound, Stone. Jaron Cook had two in a row. He's cooled off, only two of five from downtown now. Lancers Armstrong back the other way. Scoop and hoop, good off the left side for Taron Armstrong. And that will end the drought 
of almost three and a half minutes or over three and a half minutes for the Lancers. Sam Houston holding on 51-29, 7.33 to go. On that Miller time game clock, Javon Grant into the front court from right to left. Chest pass from the belt line goes over to Javion May up top to Kowalski. Left wing, Grant back to Savion Flag from the left elbow. Double team, finds Kowalski, he's fouled. And two free throws coming up for Kuba as he'll take him here. The reach in foul may have been on Stone. Now they're going to call it on Chance Hunter. It's his first personal, only the second team foul. And Kuba Kowalski will have two free throws when we come back. We'll take a 90-second break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove. Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Welcome back, friends. First round of the Western Athletic Conference Tournament. We are live here at Orleans Arena in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Your Bearcats lead the Lancers of California Baptist 51 to 29. And Kuba Krawowski fouled before we took that timeout. He's got two free throws coming up here on the left side. The seven foot two senior center from Warsaw, Poland. 11 of 27 on the, on the free throw line this season, 41%. But on the flip side, he's a 67% from the field. He'll bend his knees, first free throw on the way. This one good at the bottom of the net. Kowalski will have one more as he gets a high five from his teammates in the keys. Down there, JV on May and Ipe. And behind the three, Javon Grant and Jared Cook. One more here for Kuba. He'll bend his knees again. Right-handed free throw on the way. Rims in and out, no good. Nottage with the rebound. Here comes the Lancers. They've got 7-13 to work on this 52-29 deficit. Taron has it here inside the paint whistle down there, and I believe we're going to have a foul against Sam Houston. Official's going to run over the score table. There's three or four bodies down there, and that's on Kuba Kowalski. Third personal foul by Kuba, fourth team foul by the Bearcats. That one was in the act of shooting. That'll send Taron Armstrong. Back to the line here on the right side, Armstrong, the six foot five freshman guard, a 65% free throw shooter. Armstrong takes a couple of dribbles, gets in his stance, right-handed free throw on the way, rims in and out, won't fall. Dropped off the front, bounced off the back. He'll have one more attempt. Armstrong already with 11 points in this ball game. Four of seven from the free throw line. Three rebounds so far, actually five of eight. Here's the next one on the way. This one is no good as well. He missed both of them. Rebound, JV on May to Jaden Ray. Both them gentlemen back on the court here. Ray to May. Ray has it actually on the left wing up top. Now it's Ray to May. At the top, back over to Jaden Ray. Ray works around to the right wing. Finds Jaron Cook. Cook down low to Kuba. Kuba one on one. Taryn Armstrong gets it knocked away by Trey Armstrong. Back up top to Tarrant, crossover dribble from the left elbow. He took an extra step. Here's a three from the left wing. That shot won't fall for Chance Hunter. 
He gets his own rebound, works from the left baseline. Fires this one over Nottage for three. From the right corner, no good off the left side of the rim. Rebound, JV on May. 6.26 to go in a middle time game clock. Jaden Ray will bring it from right to left. As he crosses the timeline, watches his way forward. Working on some dribbles here, taking some time. Kuba sets up the high screen. Ray works over near the left key. Back up top to the three, right-handed dribble. Guarded here by Aiken. Back over, Javion May, left wing three. This one won't fall. Javion can hit him. Rebound, Kuba Kurwowski. Cook fires one straight away. Yes, baby. Light the stove, it's Jaron Cook from downtown. Bearcats stretch it back here. Leading 55 to 29, 548 to go. Taryn Arms or Trey Armstrong over to Taryn. Here's a three left of corner. That shot won't fall by Trey. Rebound, Jaden Ray. Bearcats can just run some time here. Their defense has been outstanding in this ball game. Holding California Baptist only 23% on 10 of 43. We got a reach in foul here though by California Baptist. It's on Taryn Armstrong, his second personal third team foul. JV on May will inbound the ball right in front of me here at the, across from the scores table. May no points tonight, but he has been a force down there with five rebounds. I talked so much about May, how a lot of what he does doesn't show up on a stat line, but he's one of the vocal leaders of this team and he does so much on this court. Checking in for the first time tonight is Kean Scroggins. Jaden Ray will bounce it over to Scroggins. Gets it poked away, back over to Ray. Down to two, he's got to put up a shot. He'll fire one. The shot no good, shot clock violation as it bounced off the right side of the glass. Never touched the rim. So a rare shot clock violation by the Bearcat offense. 5.09 remaining on the Miller time game clock. Sam Houston leading 55 to 29. Rao will bring it in the front court here from left to right. Launches this one over his left shoulder down to Aiken. And a reach in foul here on Kean Scroggins. Kean with a quick reach in there, his first personal 15 foul by Sam Houston. That was not in the act of shooting. And so a baseline inbound here will happen from Rowell. Ty Rowell, the junior, averages 12 points a game. And so far here in this one, he's only been held to three. Inbound to Thomas. Thomas from just inside the free throw line. JV on May with a stingy defense. And did they get a timeout or a jump ball here? I don't think they gave him the timeout. He was calling for it down there. Was not as he didn't get her, Thomas. And Elijah Thomas did not get that timeout call. It's a jump ball. Bearcats possession. Savion Flag, a double double in this ball game. He's on the bench. 15 points and 12 boards. Another outstanding performance by the Texas A&M graduate transfer. Jaron Cook, he'll take another three. This one no good from the right wing. Rebound here by CBU, goes over to Rao, right wing three on its way, this one falls in. And they shot it right between the eyes of Tristan Ipe. That'll end a scoring drought of over three minutes in one of their last nine shots. 55-32, Sam Houston holding on. 4.23 to go here in the first round of the WAC basketball tournament in Las Vegas. Over to Javion May, up top to Jaden Ray. Ray, reach in here by Trey Armstrong. That's Trey Armstrong, only his first foul, 14 foul by California Baptist. Inbound here by Sam Houston. Javion May set to inbound. Tristan Epe on the court alongside Jaden Ray, Keen Scroggins, and Jaron Cook. May will inbound this one. As Jaden Ray over to Jaron Cook on the left wing. Back up here to Ray, down to Ipe from the paint over the right wing. JV on May three. Oh, how about it, baby? JV on May finding the distance. And May with the three. It's only his 10th of the season. Bearcats 58, California Baptist 32 with 3.49 to go. Just had a number thrown in my face. Only 32 points in the last 35 minutes by California Baptist. Unbelievable defensive effort here by Sam Houston so far tonight. And we got a whistle here and a foul before that shot went in. We'll see if it was an and one. That will take us to a timeout. We'll take it for 90 seconds, 3.38 to go. Bearcats leading 58 to 32 from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Back at it, friends. Rob Bipp here. Thanks for joining us from Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the first round of the WAC basketball tournament. Sam Houston leading California Baptist 58 to 32. As we'll get back into action, our good friend Tim Jeske joining us. Appreciate you, my friend. And here we go, back into it as CBU will inbound here on the right side. It's a quick left wing three, no good. A rebound dropped over to Thomas, but the Bearcats rip it away from him. And here comes Sam Houston. It's looking more and more likely that they will advance and play tomorrow night. Bearcats have it. It's Epe over to Jaron Cook. Swings one over to Damon Nicholas Jr. Checking in a few moments ago. Back over to Cook on the left wing. Lower hand pass from the right over to Javon Grant. He'll find Epe. Slam it home. Oh, mama, what a play. Javon Grant with the assist to Tristan Epe off the left side. It's 60 to 32, 302 to go. Armstrong, he'll fire a three from straight away. That shot no good. Rebound, Kean Scroggins. Well, the Bearcats have came in here to Las Vegas and hit the jackpot here in this first round against a very tough and talented California Baptist team. And we'll see Kevin Martina, who has not had any playing time in quite some time, out there on the court now as head coach Jason Hoot can empty the bench and rest his guys for tomorrow night. David Nicholas Jr. set to inbound. Always good to see Kevin Martini. He's the six foot seven freshman forward from Sweden in the ball game now. Javon Grant takes the inbound from Nicholas. Grant over to the left wing, hand off Jared Cook. Cook bounces it to Martina over the head to Cook. And or over to Grant. And Grant may have stepped out there. His right heel, I believe, was just out of bounds. 60 to 32. Bearcats leading to 40 to go. Just a few moments ago, Savion, as I mentioned earlier with this double-double, that was his ninth of the season. Hopefully he'll get a little whack love. He has been outstanding. Campbell in the ball game as California Baptist has also emptied their bench here. Turnaround jumper here and a whistle on Kevin Martina and the one for Malik Wade. So Martina will pick up his first personal. 16 foul and and one opportunity here. Actually fouled Tejon Sawyer. Six foot eight sophomore forward. He's a 79% free throw shooter. Appeared in 16 games this season and his and one is good. 60-35, Bearcats on their way to a first round victory. Javon Grant will bring it in here from right to left. Make sure to stay tuned with us for a brief post game as we'll try to hear from Kyle McDonald of Wax Hoop Digest. Over to Martina, he'll take a three. How about it, Kevin Martina? Oh, that's got the bench jumping as Kevin Martina getting a basket here. He only has 13 points this season, and that was his first three-pointer entering 0 for 3. Martina, he strips it. David Nicholas has it. Nicholas up front, two on one, left side, no good. Rebound by Pavel Zakharov, who checked in moments ago. Back over right wing, here's a three. Tobin Kuhn, that shot won't fall. 
With 1.38 to go in the middle time game clock, the Bearcats will have it back here leading 63 to 35. Give a shout out to some of our friends, Reed Lindsey, former Bearcat player and team captain, would be very proud of this team. That coming from our good friend, Patsy Ann Reed. Appreciate you, Patsy Ann. Good to hear from you tonight. Up top over to Martina. Finds Jaron Cook. Cook sings this one over to Martina, right baseline, and it's knocked out of bounds by Kuhn as the pass was going over to Nicholas Jr. 14 seconds on the shot clock, 122 on the game clock as Nicholas will set to inbound here. Near the left corner on the sideline. Nicholas, right-handed inbound to Martina. Martina inside the paint. No look over his left shoulder, but Kean Scroggins wasn't ready for it. Boy, this Bearcat bench is getting fired up every time Martina touches the ball. It's great to see that. Getting some support from his teammates down there. Die ball and Dabala into the ball game here. Sawyer has it for CBU on the right side. Up top over to Wade. Moving the ball around. And turned over. Sam Houston, Javon Grant has it on the far side. And one minute to go here in the first round. Javon Grant can wind some time down here, guarded by Dybala. Back up top over to Martina. Martina drop it off. Jared Cook left wing. Cook bounce between the legs of Martina. Over to Nicholas. Back to Cook. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. Cook sizing up the situation. Back to the top. He'll find Kean Scroggins. Left side. Yes. It's an assist by Jared Cook. Down to Kean Scroggins. And the Bearcats have came alive here. And this ball game versus the Lancers tonight, 65 to 35. Lancers back with it on the right side. Here's a left wing three, Martina in the face. The shot's no good, and it's knocked out of bounds. It'll go right back to the Bearcats. It went off the fingertips of Malik Wade, and Sam Houston is getting a high five on the bench right now from assistant coaches Bailey and Mudge. How about that for the Bearcats, baby? A 30-point victory as time winds down. Sam Houston came out with authority, and I talked about it. I said this Bearcat team, I didn't see any of them out last night late. They got plenty of rest. They know this is business, and Sam Houston will defeat California Baptist 65-35, to holding them at only 24%. The Bearcats will move on to play Grand Canyon tomorrow. We'll step aside and take a break. We've got post game coming up. Stay with us from Ben Wagner. This is Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning... Prime One Burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Hey friends, Rob Pitt here. Sam Houston Bearcats will advance to the second round of the Western Athletic Conference Tournament. They will play Grand Canyon, the four seed, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Mountain, I believe, 8 p.m. Central. But a uh, good performance here tonight as Sam Houston holding UTRGV to only 17 points in the first half. And the Bearcats commanding victory here tonight, taking care of business against a tough team. We're not going to count out. Uh, what California Baptist has been able to do this season, but Sam Houston for the second time this season, defeating California Baptist, and this one, the one that matters the most, in a 58-32 to victory. I don't have the whack stats in front of me about tournament, but that's got to be close to a record low holding opponents. Now joined, as I promised, by Whack Hoops Digest himself, Mr. Kyle McDonald. You know, man, you interview me so much. I said, why don't you get down here and let me interview you and talk a little bit to you, man. We appreciate all you do in covering the WAC, my friend. Good to have you on tonight. Thanks, Rob, for having me in. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty good beatdown that the Bearcats put on the on the Lancers tonight. It, it all started, you know, you think both teams hit a three right off the gate, then Savion Flag hits three in a row. That was basically the game. And then the defensive game plan that Jason Hooten put into play. I mean, that, it was just crazy how good it was tonight. They're holding CBU to 35 points, like you said. Yeah, I don't think anybody would have expected that coming in against California Baptist, a team that shoots fairly well. After their performance against UTRGV, they were shooting lights out. Sam Houston just found a way to turn on the juice. I said, man, look, we hit the jackpot tonight. I talked about our kids, very disciplined. They weren't out running around late last night. They knew what they had to do, stayed in this one, got off. They trailed early 3-0, but after that, it was all Bearcats taking care of business. Uh, Zach, I mean, what have you seen from this Sam Houston team? I know you cover all the whack, but what have you seen from this Bearcat team this season that's impressed you the most? Well, if you, that's the first time I've seen them in person. And the physicality, the way they get after you defensively, and saving on flag, like we know he's a player of the year candidate. You know, he didn't win it this year, but he was first team all whack. He was all over the floor. It didn't matter if it was a rebound. He, he had some steals where he poked balls away from players. And then he hit shots and found his teammates. So the fact that, I mean, that guy's a player, his teammates showed up tonight. I, I, it was just an all around great performance, team performance, rather than being based on one guy tonight for the Bearcats, which Jason Newton has to love. Plus, he got guys rest there in the second half because they were so far ahead. I don't think Savion Fag played the last six, seven minutes of the game because they were so far out in front, which is good because they have to win four games in four days to win the WAC tournament. So just a, I mean, just very impressive victory tonight for Sam Houston. Well, again, we're talking to Kyle McDonald with WAC Hoops Digest. And another thing that stands out, Savion Flagg gets his ninth double-double of the season, the Texas A&M graduate transfer. He has been such a force for this Bearcat team, bringing that leadership that he had from the SEC with Texas A&M and showing these Bearcats, hey, this is how we play. This is what I can do to benefit your team. And a man that's very humble, Savion Flagg came from a power five down to Sam Houston, remembered the Bearcats and his loyalty because Coach Hooten and his staff reached out to him first. It's an amazing story for a young man that could have just kind of said, you know what, now I'm in a mid-major, I'm not really going to listen, I'm here to 
I'm here to play for me. Savion said, no way, I'm here for this team. Just a humble young man, and in fact, his screen name on social media is humble. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it goes to show, when he's smiling at his teammates when they make plays up and down the floor, when he's on the bench cheering on his guys and standing up, when role players or walk-ons make three-pointers, like that just shows what kind of player he is. And Jason Hoon's talked about it. The fact that he has confidence in his teammates to make plays gives them all the confidence to hit those shots, knock down, you know, or make plays themselves. Yeah, totally humble dude that, like you said, kept his loyalty to Jason Hooten, who was one of the first coaches to recruit him out of high school. Uh, just, just, and, and he's got a lot of basketball to play in front of him, for sure. We'll step aside, we'll take a quick break. We've got more post game coming up. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to the press conference tonight. Uh, but we do have a little bit more post game coming up. We'll step aside for a few minutes. When we come back, we'll talk more about this victory. Sam Houston taking care of business in the first round versus California Baptist in a 58 to 32 victory. We'll be back in a moment from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Requirements. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Back at it, friends, here post-game as Sam Houston men's basketball taking care of business tonight in a dominating performance versus California Baptist. We'll quickly go over some final numbers here if we can for uh, this Sam Houston men's basketball team as they shot 47%, 24 of 51 from the field. They were 11 of 26 from three-point land, 6 of 10 from the free throw line tonight at 60%. Bearcats, they turned it over 14 times. That's going to be one number that Coach Jason who's not going to be too happy about. They scored 20 points off of 16 California Baptist turnovers. Sam Houston out rebounding California Baptist 38 to 29. Of course, that was one of Coach Hooten's Emblem Properties, real estate keys to victory, taking care of business there. 32 of those were on the defensive glass, six offensive rebounds. Bearcats had five second chance points. How about 33 off the bench, 18 down in the paint. They had four fast break points. Two blocks, 12 steals tonight, and 16 assists. Just simply blistering numbers by the Sam Houston offense and defense. This game was only tied one time for one minute and 24 seconds. There was one lead change. The Bearcats led for 38 minutes and 15 seconds. By the way, this 35 points, that was the lowest that the Bearcats defense have held an opponent all season long, and it comes right here in the first round of the WAC tournament. How about that for the Bearcats? California Baptist shooting only 24%, 12 of 49, 12% from downtown and three of 26. They are 57% from the free throw line and eight of 14, 16 turnovers tonight. They had 12 points off of 14 Sam Houston turnovers, 21 rebounds on the defensive side, 29 total. They only had eight offensive rebounds, three second chance points, 11 off the bench, 18 down in the paint, no fast break points, only one block and three steals, six assists. They did not lead in this ball. Well, they did lead for 22 seconds on that early three-pointer when it was three 
to O. We'll step aside, we'll take one final break, and when we come back, we'll talk about individual player stats. Stay with us, friends. Bearcats victorious tonight. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Let's go right now to head coach Jason Hooten. He is in the press conference. Here's Coach Hooten. We've made shots. And when we make shots, as I said, we're a pretty good basketball team. We've beat some really good basketball teams this year. And, uh, you know, our defense has been really consistent. You know, if you'll look at our game at Grand Canyon, um, we got beat 20 something and gave them 67 points, and they shot 43% from the field, and we turned them over yeah. times. I don't know if that's ever happened in basketball before. So we just couldn't make a shot that day. And, you know, it's just kind of part of it. So, Again, I just think we've just we've just come every time out and gave a great effort on the defensive end, and we were rewarded today offensively by making shots. Uh, we had a question on Zoom from Colton Foster. Uh, a couple questions in here. How big is it to open up the conference tournament with a 30-point win? How do you push past it and get ready for tomorrow against Grand Canyon? Well, I think, first of all, I'm really shocked that it was a 30-point game. I mean, Cal Baptist has a great team, but obviously they had a really tough game last night. And so we just felt like we wanted to come out and get out to a good start. Um, I never thought it would turn into a 30-point game. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those days. We've all been in those before. We've been on the other end of those as well. So, um, you know, I, it's give, a lot to, give them a lot of credit. They got a really good basketball team, and they went through a lot of adversity this year, not having one of their best players for probably half of the – conference season. Um, the second part of that question, moving forward, again, I just think we have a really grounded type team and, you know, guys that are focused and locked in on the task at hand. When we left uh, Huntsville and we came out here to Las Vegas, we knew what we wanted to try to accomplish and we've gotten one of the four steps done. And, you know, obviously the first one's always really hard, but they're going to get even harder and harder as we go. And, you know, we'll go back to the hotel and uh, just get showered and cleaned up and get ready for the next step. Say, so, you know, you hit three in a row right off the gate, but then, like I said, Javon comes on and just it's like he, he was another motor that got you guys going as well. How nice is it to have teammates that, you know, can do that, that make plays, the confidence you have in them? Uh, I tell them all the time in practice, and I text them once a week and just tell them, your time is coming. Uh, wasn't playing a lot at the beginning of the season. I always told them, your time is coming. Just keep keep your head and your time is coming. Just stay confident. You know you know as a, as a player that people can't stay in front of you. You know people can't guard you. Just keep that mentality and your time is going to come. And you can see the last five, six games, he's proved that to everybody. Once again, that's post game there with head coach Jason Hooten, also the Texas A&M graduate transfer, Savion Flag. We've got another game about to start here in just a few moments as – we will have to step aside and uh, head out of here in just a moment. But, again, Sam Houston victorious tonight, taking care of business versus California Baptist. Those final individual stats, again, Savion Flagg finished with his ninth double-double of the season on 6 of 13, shooting 3 of 7 from the field, 13 rebounds and 15 points, and he did it in 31 minutes. Again, the Texas A&M graduate transfer tonight, Savion Flagg with a great performance. Followed by him, Javon Grant. How about that for the freshman? A new career high for him. Four of five from the field, one of two from downtown, three of four from the charity stripe. In 18 minutes, the freshman Javon Grant with 12 points. That was the two in double digits, followed by Jaron Cook with nine, who was three of seven from downtown. Demarcus light him up. Lampley had two three-pointers and a free throw to finish with seven. Ipe had five. Powers had four. Also, three points for JV on May. Kevin Martina had that three-pointers. He came in. Dante Powers finishing with four. four. Kean Scroggins with two. And Kuba Kowalski with three. The only player not scoring tonight that touched the ball for the Bearcats, Damon Nicholas Jr. was in there for four minutes as he had one assist, no points. And for Armstrong, we talked about how good of a player he was. Trey Armstrong for California Baptist finishing up with 11 points. Friends, that will do it as Sam Houston again taking care of business. Victorious here in the first round. They will move on to face. Very tough Grand Canyon team. Tomorrow we'll have that call right back here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 
We'll go live with pregame at 7.45 Central and an 8 p.m. tip-off right back here again from Orleans Arena. Friends, this broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and description of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producer of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office tonight. Jason Barfield, who was on with us at halftime. Ben Reichert, and of course, Cody Stark. Studio operations by our flagship at KSAM. And a big thank you to Carlos Zimmerman. He was our halftime host tonight. I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. We'll see you back tomorrow night versus Grand Canyon. Good night and God bless from Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll see you, friends. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. Hey, y'all, it's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often, and you will soon be driving up and down that honky-tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary. Member FDIC. been listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.